and welcome to How to Cook Great Food. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family? Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On a menu today, and as you can see here, piping hot. We're making a really beautiful lamb curry. What we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna cook our lamb. As you can see, I've got lamb with bone in as well. We're gonna cook our lamb with some whole spices and a touch of water just to kind of soften it a little bit. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our onions, tomatoes, spices, garlic, ginger, everything. We're gonna blend that all together and add that as a paste. So slightly different way of cooking curries from you know many others that we've done on the show. Stop talking, let's go and do it. Okay, let's get started on this. As you can see at the back there, there's some other ingredients. We're not gonna talk about those yet. We're just gonna talk about these two guys. So I've got my lamb here. I've got a nice, you know, this is a fairly lean, nice lamb. I've got some bone in there, little touch of fat, which is fine for me, I'm happy with that. And then we're gonna cook this with these whole spices first. So what we've got in here, I've got some dried red chili, some fennel seeds, lovely flavor they are, some cumin seeds, and some green cardamom. We're gonna fry them off in that. We're gonna add a touch of water to that, just a little bit, and kind of, you know, cook it in there and kind of get it nice and tender. Then we're gonna move on to the other ingredients, which is really simple. We're gonna throw them in and then slow cook it away. So you're gonna need a pan or, you know, I always use this kind of wok and a lid. In there, I've got some oil heating up. I'm using a sunflower oil, but you could be using anything you want. So we're gonna start off by putting in our whole spices. I've got some dried chili, as I said, and then check all that out there. We've got the fennel seeds, the cumin seeds, and the green cardamom. I am at this stage just gonna add some salt. And just for a few seconds, we just wanna infuse that oil in the, uh, well, I say infuse the oil. We're gonna infuse the oil with the spices that we've got here. Just a few seconds on there. It's going to be beautiful. Right, now we're going to add our lamb in there. Like I said, I've got some nice bone in there. But some beautiful lean meat as well. Okay, so we're just gonna fry this around for about four to five minutes. Give it a stir, you know, every now and then, just to seal it and brown it and get some spices, flavors onto it. But now let's go and look at all the other ingredients. Okay, so just as our lamb is slowly cooking away there, let's take a look at this lot. So chopped fresh tomatoes. I've got one, you know, decent sized bunch there of cilantro or fresh coriander. Chopped onions, I'm using red. And you can see the quantities, roughly. Right, in here are our powders and herbs. So I've got equal parts here, like a teaspoon each of turmeric, coriander powder, cumin powder, chili powder, and then in the center is fenugreek leaves or methi. And just over here, I've got some chopped green chili, fresh, ginger, and some garlic. Now what we're gonna do is the whole lot is gonna go into your food processor. We're gonna whiz the whole thing up. And then once our meat's slightly tender, we're gonna add it. And it's really, really simple way of cooking it. Okay, so that's like four or five minutes. Of course, nowhere near cooked, but slightly brown. I mean, there's still some red on there, some red meat, but we certainly have got a lovely little head start here. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna get some water in there. Turn the heat up to max, get a lid on that. And we're gonna need to, once it comes to a boiling point, we need to cook it for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so as you can see, all of those ingredients, the onions, tomatoes, the garlic, ginger, chili, the fresh coriander or cilantro, and our spices, all into the food processor, give them a big whiz up. And we've got this kind of chunky looking paste here. 
what we're going to do is once our lamb which is still cooking right now has kind of tenderized a little bit on its way we're going to add the whole lot of that stir it in lid on leave it slow cook it delicious okay let's jump in and take a look at our lamb now and as you can see most of that water's gone hasn't it and we've got some really really lovely flavors pumped in there right what we're going to do now is we're going to add that mixture we made which is incredible really really tasty now what we want to do just going to get the heat up while we're talking just a little mixing now the paste looks really thick but there's a lot of tomatoes in there and as this cooks as the onions and tomatoes cook it's going to give off a lovely amount of water or moisture and we're going to end up with a really beautiful curry. So what we need to do now is get the lid on. Let's go medium heat. And let's just cook this for about 15 minutes. Then we're going to come back, check it out. As you can see, it's actually thinning out already. Then we're going to come back and then we're going to check it out. And then we're going to simmer it for as long as you like, really. I mean, the longer, the better to get this beautiful lamb super super tender see you in a bit okay let's jump in and take a look got a lot of steam out of there look at that as you can see a wonderful masala is starting to come together now thinning out beautifully now depending on the type of lamb the cut, the size, depends on how long you need to cook this for. So nice, slow simmer now, lid back on. I'm gonna let that go for about another 20 minutes. Give it a stir every now and then. Okay, off goes the heat. Let's take a look at this. Wow, I'm really happy with that. Now I've checked that meat, it's really super tender. Check this for salt. You might want to add a touch more, I'm really fine with that. Now like I say, depending on the size of the meat that you've used and the quality, if you've used a mutton or a lamb or whatever, you need to adjust that as you're cooking it. But that really is delicious. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you soon. Lots of love. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family?